Okay, so let's try the next coding exercise. So open the deetcode.com and go to the problems tab. And uh, here the search question, search robot return and hit enter. There is a question number 657. It comes under the easy category and it's very easy. So open it. If you just see the description by looking at the description, it seems like maybe it's very complicated, but it's very, very, very easy. So the question is, there is a robot starting at the position 00, zero the origin on a 2D plane. So how the 2D plane looks like is the like X, Y axis. So basically if it is origin, so this uh, this is like uh, X axis, all these are the X axis, all right? And uh, these are the Y axis. These are the Y axis, all right? So it's a 2D plane. Given a sequence of its move, judge if the robot ends up at 0, 0 after it complete uh, its moves. So there are some moves are given like uh, uh, starting position is 0, 0. It is at origin. There are some moves are given. It will move up, uh, then it will move left, then it will move down, then it will move right. So we need to check when all the moves end. Will the robot return at its same position? That is the starting position, 0, 0 or not. If it is returning at the same position, then we are we have to return true. If it is not returning at the same position, then we have to return false. So you are giving string of moves that represent the move sequence. And uh, so R means right and left, up and down. So return true if the robot returns to origin, it finishes all its move or return false otherwise. So an example, let's pose the, uh, as an example here, it is given UD, moves are UD and LN. So first is up and down. So first the robot will go here, right? So robot will go here. So when it go here, uh, what, what it will be zero one, right? Because when it go up, the Y will be incremented, right? And then down, then it will come again back to this position. Then it will come again back to this position. So then y will be decremented. So zero first it become so first it is zero zero. Then it will become uh, if we go above, if it go above, then it become zero one. If it come down, then it become zero zero. Right. So starting and end position both are same. So it means this will return as a true. So that's why it is returning true. The next position is ll. Ll means left left. So first the robot will go here on the left side, that is the X axis. So if it go on the left side, so minus one, zero. And then again, it go on the left hand side. So if it again go on the left hand side, minus two and zero. And the moves are ended. So the end position is minus two, zero, which is not equal to the zero, zero. So it, it should return false. It should return false. So like, there is no brute force, nothing, just only one solution. How to do that? So starting position is zero, zero. So it means X is equal to zero, Y is equal to zero. Then we have to just put if else condition, that's if. So there are string is given, U, D. So we can run a loop on the strings, right? So we can run a loop for first is U, then D, then maybe more strings. So if it is U, then if it is up, then we will increment the y, y is equal to y plus one. If it is down, then we will decrement the y, y is equal to y minus one. If it is left, then we will decrement the x. If it is right, then we will increment the x. And at the end, when all the moves get finished, we will check uh, the value of x and y. If both x and y is equal to zero, then we are going to return true. Otherwise, we are going to return false. So that's it. That's uh, uh, Let's try to uh, try this. So. We have given x, y, that is the starting position, 0, 0. So for m in moves, moves, which is a string, all right? So if m is equal to u, if it is, if it go above, then y will be incremented. L if, L if, L if m equal to d. If it go if it go down, then y equal to y minus one. And if if m equal to left, 
if then x is equal to x minus 1 else x is equal to x plus 1 because in the condition the move only contains this character so it should not contain any other character so only r is r left so which is r is equal to x plus 1 so when it all done what we can do uh, we can check if x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 we can return true else return false so if x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 after all the moves so it means it's still at the origin it reaches at the origin then we are going to return true otherwise we are going to return false so let's try to run it so accepted let's try to submit it so our solution has been accepted and we can do one more thing here so here you don't need to put more if as condition you can technically uh, write return x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 So if x is equal to 0 and if both conditions satisfy, then it will return, return true. Otherwise, it will return false. So let's try to run it and submit it. Yeah, so you can do that as well. So it's very easy question. You can like, uh, by looking at the question, it will look very complicated, but it's very, very easy. So that is the end of the video. You can try the same as well. Uh, thank you.